Hello friends, in the previous session we discussed about the banker safety algorithm. So now we are going to discuss a numerical on the basis of the same algorithm. So let's see what the numerical is. It says find the safe sequence for the given scenario of the processes. Given below that maximum need is specified as this, allocated matrix is this and the available resources is this. So the first step in such a numerical is first of all to find out the need required by all the processes. <clears throat> so this maximum need basically specifies what is the maximum need of a process. Allocated specifies what are the resources already been allocated to it. Available specifies what are the resource instances available corresponding to the resources. So the first step was to find out the need. Need is equals to maximum minus allocated. When we simplify this out, this is the matrix that we obtain. Now, in order to find out a safe sequence, we find out a process whose need is less than the available thing, right? So now if we see our available, it is this. So this is certainly more than this because this is one and this is zero. This is equal to this. So we can definitely allocate this. This is again more than this. So that means we'll be starting with P2 process. So we can start with P2 process. Need of P2 is less than equals to available. So we can assign the resources to P2 to let it, to let it complete. And after P2 completes, what will happen is it will release, it will release all the resources allocated to it. That means the ones which have been allocated now and the one which were allocated previously. So basically the ones specific in this maximum thing right so it will release 0 1 2 available were, were what available were 0 1 1 so if you add up all these things it will be it will be 0 2 3 right so but now 0 2 3 is again less than this and less than this that means there is no other process which can be allocated to the resources given the available matrix right so hence we say that there is no safe sequence available in this case now just to practice it again uh, with some other possibility we change the available matrix and we change the available matrix to this one 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 right again the situation is same we have the need matrix as this and the available matrix as this so we start with now we can also start with p1 so this time we start with p1 because this need is less than this right so we start with p1 and once p1 completes it releases all the resources allocated to it so the ones specified in p1 were these and the allocated ones were 101 so if i just take these plus the allocated ones it will give me the resources after p1 completes which is 212 now I check with P2. Obviously, I can assign the resources to P2 and I can also assign it to P3, right? So I can assign to any one of them. It will yield a safe sequence. So then comes the possibility of multiple safe sequences basically. So in this case, I assign it to P1. When I assign it to, uh, sorry, I assign it to P2 now. And when I assign it to P2, what happens is, uh, yes. So when I assign it to P2 after P2 completes, what will be the resultant? It will be 212 plus the ones, 212 plus the ones which were allocated, already allocated to P2. So it was only one of C allocated to it. So it will become 213, right? You can do it either ways. You can first uh, deduct the required need from the available, then add it up. And also add the allocated ones. So it will result in the same thing. 2, 1, 3. Now you can finally give this to P3. And since we'll be able to give this to P3. So we have already. We have one of the safe sequences. P1, P2, P3. The other one could be P1, P3, P2. Then you can also find out the other one as P2, P1, P3. So there are multiple safe sequences possible in this case. Fine. So that's all for this session. Yes, in this particular uh, safe sequence, if you just go on, finally you'll be left with available as 313. So that's all for this question of banker safety algorithm. I'll have some more numericals from Gates pers perspective in the next session. So stay tuned for more questions coming up. Thank you.